Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now December 11th of 2020 and ever since the very end of the Skywalker Saga, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney, Lucasfilm, Bob Iger, Bob Chapek, you name it, and exactly what this new universe is going to look like either on the big screen in theaters or at home on Disney+. Plus. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, as you guys saw just yesterday, a handful of projects were indeed announced by, of course, Lucasfilm. And that's just the first batch of projects. We got more announcements coming our way sometime next year, most likely in quarter three or four of 2021. So keep an eye open for that in the months to come. Now, the thing that's really really impressive about Lucasfilm right now is exactly what they have done with The Mandalorian Season 2, specifically chapters 13 and 14. Those by far, I think, were the two best episodes out of the entire season so far. I just saw chapter 15 last night. Uh, I have a couple of mixed feelings about that episode. It didn't really strike me too much with excitement, but I think that a lot of fans are really due for a big surprise in the finale of Season 2 this upcoming Friday. Now, with that being said, of course, what's really all the more intriguing has to do with Lucasfilm's plan of handling the future Star Wars lore and how it's really going to significantly impact the Skywalker saga, specifically the prequel trilogy movies. So with that being said, of course, with the Skywalker saga now over, both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe, as well as the new Star Wars trilogy of movies. On top of that, it's explained that currently both Bob Iger and Chapek are focused on new lore in Star Wars. One major plan by Lucasfilm is to restart the prequel trilogy in a big way by adding more to the canon of the movies. One major addition set to roll into the prequels is that the ancient Sith Lord, known as Tor Valum, was the true villain pulling the strings in the background. Even behind Palpatine and Plagueis the entire time and served as a direct link to the plans of Order 66 that were given and passed down to Emperor Palpatine during the events of the prequels. So let's stop right here for a second. <clears throat> in case you guys have no idea who Tor Valum really is. Tor Valum was an ancient Sith Lord, an original idea by Colin Trevorrow, the original director and writer of Duel of the Fates. Now, Duel of the Fates was going to be the original title of Episode 9 and the original version of the movie by Colin before he was fired by Kathleen Kennedy, unfortunately, and replaced with J.J. Abrams. What Colin was going to do, he was going to give fans a more unique and original take on Star Wars, but at the same exact time, kind of keeping nostalgia in place. That's really what he wanted to do. He really wanted to surprise the fans. Now, granted, The Rise of Skywalker was a very messy production. When J.J. Abrams was on board, there were a lot of problems that came out of it. But Colin would have done amazing work. Now, this character Tor Valum being used now in the prequel trilogy timeline is going to be a controversial thing, I think, between a lot of fans out there. Some fans may like this idea, some fans may very well despise this idea, and that's perfectly okay. To me, I don't really care about this too much, um, because at the end of the day, you know, there's always going to be some kind of different twist or angle to Star Wars eventually that Disney's going to experiment with. I will say one thing though, the only thing that really is going to be a bit of a struggle is exactly how this ties in with Order 66. Now, on top of that, it's noted that for Tor Valum, all right, he is actually set to serve as the one who instructed Palpatine and Plagueis to use Shmi Skywalker as a vessel to create Anakin Skywalker through the ways of the dark side in order for him to hold dark side tendencies from the very beginning, even as a young adult and child. Lucasfilm is planning to use Tor Valum as the true villain lurking in the shadows, pulling the strings from the unknown regions and even served as the one to teach Palpatine, of course, Darth Plagueis' secret of essence transfer. So, as we saw in The Rise of Skywalker, Palpatine successfully used essence transfer. It's why he's in that clone body. He was able to use his spirit to depart from his body, falling down the reactor of the second Death Star, 
travel across space and time to the world of Exegol, hopping into that clone body. So that's exactly what Lucasfilm is aiming for. They're aiming to explain exactly how Palpatine learned Essence Transfer, and on top of that, they're also trying to incorporate how Anakin was created and exactly who really planned Anakin to be created in such a way. That, to me, I think is going to be the most drastic change of all within Star Wars and how they are really looking at Tor Valum to be the new big bad. So, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.